Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And on today's Editing Tip Tuesday, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Clone Stamp tool to retouch skin in Photoshop. Now this tip was sent in by a fantastic newborn and portrait photographer, Leah Lowe. She's with Lilo Photography, and I'm gonna link up to some of her work and her full written tutorial in the description below, or simply by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash clone. Now, Leah does some great newborn work. However, I don't do a lot of newborn, so I'm gonna try out her tutorial on one of the portraits I recently took. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in on my portrait so that I can really focus in on the skin. So I'm gonna zoom in on her face. And I'm also gonna take this background and I'm gonna go up to layer and I'm gonna duplicate the layer. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this so that I can show you easily the before and after when we're done. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go to the left hand side and find the clone stamp tool on the toolbar. It looks like a stamp right here and it says clone stamp tool. So I'm gonna select that. Now you can adjust the size of this stamp by clicking the brackets on your keyboard so you can make it larger or smaller as you work through the skin. Now what the clone stamp, stamp tool will do is it will select areas of the skin that are more pleasing and cover up the areas of the skin that are not so pleasing. So first, I see she's got a scratch on the side of her forehead here that I want to erase. I'm gonna take the clone stamp tool and I'm gonna sample an area of skin that is more pleasing right near that scratch. And I'm gonna hit the Alt key and I'm gonna left click. That samples the nicer area of skin and then I'm simply gonna brush over the area I want erased. Pretty easy, huh? Now, another thing you could do is use the clone stamp tool to erase some of the redness in skin. And I see she's got kind of a, a darker patch of red right under her eye. It's all right, she's got kind of rosy cheeks already, which is okay, and I'm gonna select some of the rosiness from here, but this darker area I want to get rid of. So I'm gonna decrease the size of that clone stamp tool, and I'm going to select an area in this um, lighter red tone by hitting Alt, left click. And then I'm just gonna paint on over that darker red area. And that erases it and blends it in nicely with that already natural lighter red area. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to retouch this kind of hot spot that's up by her eye. Looks like the sun kind of hit off this area and made it glisten and it's just a little too bright up there. So I wanna smooth this white area out. And I'm gonna do that by selecting some of these more pleasing skin tones with the clone stamp tool and then just painting over this white area. So I'm gonna choose an area up here and I'm gonna hit Alt, left click, and then I'm just gonna start painting over this hot spot here. I'm going to do the same thing down here, but I'm going to resample another area that's down here on the skin that's closer to this area. So Alt, left click, and I'm going to paint that on. I'm going to sample that in the area one more time and just kind of paint that over. Now this does take some practice to get it looking great, um, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So let's take a look at the before again. I'm going to turn off this background copy. There was our before and retouching with that clone stamp tool. There it is after. And that really did a nice job covering up and smoothing out those skin tones. Pretty easy. Thanks so much, Leah, for sending in that tip. And if you have an editing tip that you would like featured on the Cozy Clicks blog, you can find out how to do that by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash clone or checking that link in the description. Now, I always appreciate your likes and comments on my videos, and I would love if you would subscribe to the channel where I will be adding new videos all the time. If you do try out this tutorial or any of my tutorials, I would love to see what you've created. You can post it over on Instagram and mention or tag me at Cozy Clicks so I can check out the work that you're doing. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.